Welcome to another gorgeous day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're looking at the stunning 2016 Terrain SLT all-wheel drive shown here in the very nice dark sapphire blue metallic. Under the hood has the 3.6 liter dock direct injected V6 engine with the 6-speed automatic transmission. Now taking a look at the inside of the vehicle, the upholstery is all leather and down here are the controls for the 8-way power adjustable driver's seat which does include lumbar support. And on the inside of the driver's side door, there is quite a bit of storage as well as those Pioneer premium speakers which do allow for the best sounding quality when listening to your music. Up here is the window lock, powered windows, powered mirrors and the powered lock and unlock. Behind the left hand side of the steering wheel are the lights and indicators and on the left hand side of the steering wheel are all the cruise control buttons. On the right hand side of the steering wheel are the hands free and bluetooth buttons as well as some other radio buttons, volume and changing of the stations there. And behind the right hand side of the steering wheel are all the wiper controls. Now taking a look at the center touch screen, it does come with AM, FM and XM radios as well as you can connect your phone to the vehicle. It also does come with navigation which I will show now by Push pressing it. On star button to activate Sorry, the hold on, there we go. Now I'll be pressing on the navigation uh, and a map will pop up eventually. There we are. So once you press the navigation, a map does pop up which is quite nice. As well as that, um, you also can connect your phone to the vehicle. And moving on, if you hit more on the bottom right, uh, there are some more options here, uh, which do include an equalizer, which is that tone uh, icon, as well as some configuration settings, some destination uh, inputs, and some quick information. Below that are all the buttons and knobs that help to navigate the way through the center screen there, as well as volume on the left, changing of the stations on the right, Quick start buttons include navigation, destination, changing of the sources and your favorites uh, for the radio stations. In between the aircon and the radio buttons are the hazards. And now we're going to be taking a look at the aircon controls, which does include front and rear defrost, as well as heated driver and passenger seats. You have the fan speeds on the left and on the right is the temperature. Below that are, is some storage and some more storage below that, as well as an auxiliary power outlet. In between the seats are two cup holders, your traction control button, a little bit of storage there and this nice armrest and you can flip this armrest up and it reveals quite a lot of room on the inside here as well as a USB port and auxiliary import. Now if I take this out, there is also an auxiliary power outlet. Going straight up from there, there is a gorgeous sunroof which offers lots and lots of uh, room for sunlight to come in as well as when you open it up, it allows some of that fresh air to come in. If it is a little bit too sunny outside, you can just pull this shade over, which will block all the sun out, which is quite nice. Top right that, the buttons are located up top right there. And just behind it are the buttons to operate the power automated trunk. Moving forward, there are also three garage door buttons, which is nice and convenient. And on the actual rear view mirror, if you click that blue button, you will be connected to OnStar. And they can help you with any situation that you are in, including pinpointing a destination also for you here on the screen. Now looking over on the passenger side, there is quite a big glove box here which offers lots of room and storage for some bigger items. There is also on the passenger side the powered uh, windows and power lock and unlock on the door and those Pioneer premium speakers. Have a look at those nice 18 inch machined aluminum wheels there as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle. There are the ultrasonic rear parking sensors that are lined along the whole rear bumper here. And underneath here is the colored backup camera, which does show up for you on the inside of the vehicle on that center screen. Now we're going to take a look at the trunk area, and thanks to it being automatic, you just have to press the button that is located behind that logo, and it will open automatically, which is quite nice. Once it is open, on the inside here you can see there is quite a bit of storage, as well as a cubby hole located on the left and right hand side, which will help keep in some smaller items nice and safely uh, stored away. As well as that, there are some hooks lined along the right and left hand side, so you can secure a cargo net to help again keep some items nice and safely uh, separated. There is also an auxiliary power outlet located back here. There is also this handy accessory which is this plastic um, piece right here which is put on to make sure that no loose items can fall in between the gap that is in between um, these back seats here and the trunk area. Um, again, all making sure that no loose items are lost when you are moving stuff. These back seats here also do fold down, lift up on there, push down on the seat 
and they fold down, practically doubling the amount of room that you would have back here, making it nice and convenient for when you are camping and you need to do need to put a few tents or uh, some stuff back here. You can certainly fit quite a lot of stuff as well as if you're moving, you can fit quite a few boxes. Now to close the trunk, you can either close it manually using the handle on the left hand side or you can press the button located here on the right and it'll close automatically again. Now looking at the rear passenger side door on the inside here, there is quite a bit of storage as well as the powered window control. And as I step into the back seat here, there is some storage behind the passenger seat as well as some behind the driver's seat. Behind this middle console here, there is this nice auxiliary power outlet, which is great for charging some of the mobile devices. As I turn around here, you can see that the second row does support three people. But when someone is not sitting in this middle seat right here, just pull on this tab and downfold the center folding armrest as well as two cup holders, which does allow for a little bit more of a relaxing ride. What an amazing vehicle, folks. And I tell you, it'll just keep getting better and better because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as having its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, which does mean that you can connect your mobile devices to it while it's in the vehicle, which will help move time along very quickly when you are going on some of those longer journeys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome 2016 Terrain SLT all-wheel drive shown here in the very nice dark sapphire blue metallic. Under the hood has the 3.6 liter dark direct injected V6 engine with the six speed automatic transmission. If you want to test drive this vehicle, we are, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.